Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here. We're going to do the Weekend Anomaly mission today. Got my main save here with my latest cloak. Ah, and a selection of ships. Which do I choose today? Should I go with the Freudian ship? The Shinote? Yeah, don't even bother with that one. The Blue Divide... No, I don't feel like doing that. How about the Golden Vector? I haven't used used that one in a while. Golden Vector it is. Let's see. Yes, it looks like I have actually done some work on this ship to get it up to snuff. What kind of damage is Pal put on this one? Eh, only 88,000 damage. Unbelievable. Golden Vector is out the door. Let's pull up an anomaly and see what the latest mission is. Thunk. Alrighty. Now right now multiplayer is off. I wouldn't mind having a bunch of people floating around sitting at the station, but we're going to go ahead and just uh, leave it off for now. Got all kinds of things processing in the background on my computer, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we don't have anything interfering with it. Okay. Off to the latest missions here at the Anomaly. Let's see what we got going on. Weekend event. 1800 Quill, uh, Quicksilver gives us Exhuming the Ancients and Unearthing Ancient Bones. Gets us a defense chit. Not that that's really worth anything that I could use, especially with the damage output I can do. Hey, let's go ahead and get this done. All right. This sounds very similar to like the last week's mission, I think, which also had to do with digging up bones, if I remember correctly. Let's see if this plant is a little better. I'm going to be utilizing my pause button quite often here so I don't bore the ever-living daylights out of you. Because trudging across a landscape and trying to find bones is just going to take forever. What? Wait a second. Aha! Uh -huh. Outlaw station at the same time. Isn't that pretty cool? Alright, where are we headed? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's just to the right of that. Right there. Okay, good. Own rich planet. Taking it's not the big guy, it's the little moon. It's a paradise moon, too. That's pretty cool. Strange. Whoop, hello. And we ended up going into there. Well, it doesn't make a difference where we end up. Now, the good thing about a moon, though, is that due to the smaller circumference, it should allow us to... not have to travel as far to get things done. Whoa. Taking advantage of... Wow, what is this stuff? I'll take you. All right. Kind of nice looking place. Everything glows a little bit. That's pretty cool. Not quite as pretty as my home planet that I've got my character's uh, main base on, but not bad. Trees don't glow here. Eh. All right. Where are we headed? There's one right there. Looks like there's a few bones in that spot. I'll take you the har the the uh, long way this way this time, guys. So we'll pause just yet. Yeah, this guy can run forever. As you can see, the bar from my running is just takes forever to run down. X upgrades, man. They're always the best. Uh, let's see. Let's clear out the land. All right. We have one, and it happens to be rare. Two, even more rare. Oh, I got to check those out. And my inventory's full. From the bones of the last one. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That is absolutely great. 
Well, it's not really quite full. If you look, I still have a lot more inventory. But let's see what these got us. Not bad. 953,000 for that one. And 336 for the other one. So, not bad. Not bad. Also, you'll see there's a little bit of salvaged glass on board my uh, person here. I wonder why that is. Anyway, moving on. Let's get up out of this hole. Where am I going next? Too far. That's what it says. All right. So this is where I go ahead and pause you. And we'll be right back. Boink. And we're back one more time. Looks like we got three bones in this spot. Probably going to be cheap ones. One. Actually, we got a couple extras, looks like. Okay. Two. Ah, what do you know? Rare. Three. Also rare. And four. Okay. Got four bones that time, so that's pretty good. Gets us up to six out of twelve. Looks like we got another one right over there. And another one a little further away that way. So let's go to this one. Anyway, ran into a hill like that. Got some big creatures on this planet that are actually pretty cool looking. Half tempted on taming one as a pet, but I think I've already got a full compliment. All right. Around the tree. Almost. Almost could have made it. Extra charge in my booster pack and I might have been able to do it. Alright, here we are. Looks like there is just the one. Okay. Nothing special on that guy. So let's go back the way we came because there was a... I know there were bones over there. Yeah, we'll call that an owl. Yeah, I don't think it's that way. There we go. That's the spot. So we're going to head that way. It's 900 units away. So let's pause for another moment and we'll be right back. And we're back again. Let's get these guys. Looks like we got four in this area and we needed five. That sucks. Another rare one. Um, if I get into something there. And that's a shame. One bone left. Good news is 585, 517. Okay, guess we'll take this one. Couldn't have find these first. Ah, uh, this ought to be interesting. Boosting through a forest. Let's get the running going. And go. All right. So this seems to be pretty straightforward. It's just like last week. I think what they're doing is they're trying to keep it simple because of the fact that we've got the expedition going on. So, or the redux, I should say. Let's be very clear. Uh, wow. Okay. What the heck? Okay, let's go with this one. So, there we go. That should do it. So, we're going to pull in our ship. We're going to switch over to our pulse spitter, because you know exactly what's going to happen at this point. Watch this. Let's look at him this way. Well, what are those? Sector navigation beacons. Fascinating. 
Well, I don't see any sentinels. Isn't that interesting? That was right next to me. How far away are you? 19 seconds away? Alright. I'll give it a shot. Really surprised nothing attacked me. I really, really thought something would. I always like taking on a couple sentinels. If you've seen my failure video, that was a pretty good one. What was it? Uh, mining laser versus sentinels in permadeath mode. And I almost won. Should have won. I've won before. Honestly, I have. But I should have won. All right. Not you. You. What's up, dude? Uh, show my samples. And we're done. Now, you may have to fight some sentinels on the way. Just a head, heads up on that, folks. So that's it. Take your beautiful ship back to the anomaly to get your reward. Very simple. Nice backdrop to that, huh? You know what? That calls for a nice picture, huh? How far back we can pull it. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Right there. I like that. I like that a lot. There's your thumbnail for the day, my, my, my friends. Yes, yes, yes. And in we go. And we said, well, like I said, we're back to the Nexus, or the Anomaly, as the case may be. Space Anomaly, Nexus, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go ahead and turn in our mission for the rewards. Feel free to sell all those things in your inventory, unlike me. And... Uh, Get some good, 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 uh, good units for it, man. Uh, don't know why I never sold mine. Probably because I'm too busy doing everything else right now. But there we go. Turn it in. Mission complete. Eighteen hundred quicksilver richer. So we're doing pretty good in that area. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, folks. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your uh, patronage, I appreciate you watching, I appreciate your likes and your subscriptions. And uh, as I always say, there's always room to be kind to others and always be truthful in all things you do, especially to yourself, because that's where it starts. Thank you very much, folks, and a quick wave goodbye. Take care.